tributes are pouring in today for a Queensland man killed by Russian forces on the front line in Ukraine last month. Jet William Dana E., from Nanango in Queensland's South Burnett region, and aged in his mid-twenties, was killed in eastern Ukraine on August 24, the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade DFAT, said. He was providing medical treatment to frontline Ukrainian soldiers, but the medical vehicle that he was driving was hit by Russian artillery fire and he died. Read more, homeowners bracing for new interest rates rise as cost of living crisis bites the Dana E family has issued a statement through FAT and praised him for his work in Ukraine. They said he died doing what he believed in, helping people who needed it. Jed lived his life trying to help other people, in his short time on this earth Jed did more things than most of us will ever do in a lifetime Jed died doing what he believed in, helping people who needed it. He was at his heart an optimist and always believed that things should be better. Read more, Liz Truss wins leadership race to become new UK Prime Minister The statement described his sense of adventure, fun and love of travel. Australia's Ukrainian community issued a statement passing on its deepest sympathies to Dana Hayes family. Our community feels pain and sorrow that a good, decent young man has lost his life in this way, Australian Federation of Ukrainian Organizations co-chair Stefan Romani said. We pay respect to the bravery and courage of Mr. Dana E., who was helping to provide medical support to Ukrainian soldiers on the front line. We salute him as a hero and honor his selflessness and respect for human life. Our community also extends its deepest sympathies to the family of Mr. Dana E. Peter Bonyorny, the Ukrainian community of Queensland president, said. We are deeply sorry for their loss, and offer our condolences and prayers at this difficult and tragic time. Read more, Melbourne mural criticized as utterly offensive to Ukrainians may Mr. Dana E. rest in peace. In Ukrainian, we wish him, eternal memory. We also wish the Dana E family peace and comfort as they grieve. Tfat has confirmed it is providing consular assistance to his family. In May, Tasmanian aid worker Michael O'Neill became the first known Australian to die in the Ukraine conflict.